Hi there, my name's Henry, I'm from CCTV42. We're going to have a quick chat about low lux figures of CCTV cameras. In theory, the low lux figure is supposed to tell you how sensitive the camera is and how well it performs in either low light uh, conditions or when using any infrared light that the camera's got. Um, there's a bit on our website just up here which goes into it in a bit more detail. It's a slightly um, sort of technical subject. Um, there's two things to be aware of. Firstly, some people will quote an IRE of zero and all cameras with built-in infrared light will theoretically work in zero lux. So it's not telling you anything about the sensitivity of the camera's electronics. And the more complicated thing is you've got to decide what the acceptable image is when you're filming down in, in low light. And for that you use a thing called an IRE number or Institute of Radio Engineers number. An IRE of one means the camera can only distinguish between black and white. There's no shades of gray in between. An IRE of 100 means that white is pure white, black is jet black, and you've got all the shades of gray in between. So you need to know what the IRE number was when the testing was being done. You also need really to know what lens was used during the testing because it's likely that a, a very wide aperture lens lets lots of light in was used for the testing and that won't be the lens that's fitted to the camera uh, that you're buying. Um, as I say, it's a slightly uh, technical thing, low lux, but it was more to, to say don't take the numbers too literally. Um, you can't even use them as a comparison because you've got no idea uh, what IRE number people were using. I hope you found that useful. My name's Henry. I'm from CCTV42. Many thanks for watching.